Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Amlan Saka and today we are going to talk about salaries in various forensic science job profiles. Now basically this video is in continuation to my previous video which was on career in forensic sciences or career opportunities or career options in forensic sciences and uh, this video the salaries in various forensic science job profiles is actually in reference to that particular video. Now if you haven't watched it yet I'm going to put it down. I'm going to link it down in the description box as well as I'll pin the uh, link in the comment box as well. So if you watch the video in prior to this video, it's going to help you in understanding the various career options, its job profiles and the salaries expected, you know, starting salaries on average. Now, before I continue with this video, I'm going to give a disclaimer that the salaries ranges that I'm going to talk about in this video. Basically, you'll not find it on Internet and the salary ranges that is provided on Internet is is not trustworthy and what I'm going to give you is basically after I talked with the various experts in across various forensic science fields. So uh, private forensic science laboratories and government forensic science laboratories basically there are two types of laboratories forensic science laboratories where you can work government and private. Now in government it can be uh, classified into centrally owned forensic science laboratories and state owned forensic science laboratories. Now if you are a fresher and if you wish to work or if you get a job in the central forensic science laboratories the expected salary that you will get is around 30,000 to 40,000 on average. Now it is an expected salary range you will get a salary somewhere in between this whereas in state owned forensic science laboratories the starting salary for a fresher is around 20 to 30,000 in per month on average this is the average range now uh, with experience of minimum two to three years this can go up to around uh, 50,000 near about 50,000 40,000 to 50,000 central forensic science laboratories and 30,000 to 40,000 in state-owned forensic science laboratories now in case of private forensic science laboratories the starting salary is that is given to a fresher is around or is in the range of 10,000 to 15,000 not more than that now, if you get a job in detective agencies, the salary range for a fresher would be around 15,000 to 20,000 on an average. This will be the salary range. You can get an ex you will get you can expect a salary in bet in between this number, 15,000 to 20,000. Now, if you wish to work as an assistant professor, you get a job as an assistant professor. The starting salary for a fresher will be around in the range of 25,000 to 35,000. This range is applicable for both private as well as government for a fresher. And if you get a job as a teaching assistant, it will be around or a research assistant, it will be around 18,000 to 25,000. Now with an experience of minimum two to three years, the salary range can go up to around 50,000 in case of universities or government colleges. Now talking about the corporates, now if you haven't watched my previous video, you'll get, uh, yeah, if you watch my previous video, you'll get to understand that in corporates, there are a variety of job profiles and it depends upon the job profile that you, that the salary will be getting. So. It basically varies upon on the job profiles and it can vary from as low as 2.4 lakhs per annum to as high as 12, 10 to 12 lakhs per annum on an average. All right. This whatever salary range I'm giving you is on average. For a digital forensic analyst, the average starting salary in the corporates is around 2.4 lakh per annum. Whereas the average starting salary for a scientific uh, cyber security assistant or a pen tester is around in the range of 3 to 3.6 per uh, 3.6 lakh per annum now if you uh, get a job as a due diligence analyst the starting salary would be around 3 lakhs per annum on an average and for a forensic auditor or forensic accountant it is a little bit higher around 4 to 5 lakhs per annum on an average the starting salary now another field that is uh, very much in mainstream nowadays is working as a freelance private forensic expert now it also depends the income depends on the workflow on an average of around 4 to 5 k per month you can easily make around 20000 to 30000 per month so it basically depends on the number of cases that you receive each month all right now as i already given you a disclaimer that whatever the salary that i'm giving you it's after talking to various experts within the within and across the various forensic science fields where a forensic science graduate can work now the estimated salary or the actual salary will be within the range that i have already that i've given you it can be a little higher for some job profiles or for some niches more or less it is what it is that i have given you in this video so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share it among your friends and please do subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye